Right, so one of today's jobs is going to be fitting some spotlight downlights. I've got some proper uh, LED downlighters for the main headlining. Uh, they're going to be connected up to a dimmer switch, but I also wanted some individual lights just for uh, if it's late at night and you just want a small little light on rather than having the entire headlining lit up. So I'm going to have four of these connected around the van in each corner. One here behind, just behind the fridge unit. I'm going to have one in the corner of the headlining just up here. Another one the other side of the headlining there. And then the other one is going to be for that cable there. That one's going to be, be able to be pointing down onto the kitchen area, onto the hob and sink. Uh, this one's going to be pointing down onto where the bed's going to be. And those two, again, it's going to be pointing down just into the entrance area and into the bed. So if you just want an extra little bit of light, you just be able to click that on. And they're all individually switched rather than having to turn on an entire set of headlining lights on at once. So I'm going to get all the cabling pulled through, get these mounted in place, and see how they look. Well, there's that spotlight in place and ready to go. Just another three to fit now, but this one was the main priority because this one's on the panel that I still had other stuff to fit to. I've still got the panel to actually wire in there, that's ready to go. But I needed to get this in place before I could get the panel on and get the ply fitting in place. So that's just connected on the back. Uh, marked up which one was the positive going off the LED driver unit that actually sits inside. And that's mounted on. It just has a couple of uh, caps just to go over the screw holes and obviously I'll put them on when I'm ready and uh, finished. I said it's pretty straight there though and it's uh, fully adjustable so it can twist round up and down as well so just in case you need a quick little bit of power that's all they're going to be there for. So one down, three to go. Right, so that is the LED spotlight install fully finished now. I started with the side one, I needed to get that one on just so I could get the panel on and then start building everything around the van. After that one I had to get the one above the kitchen on again so I could start building all of the kitchen units. But again it totally swivels round so it can be pointed down at the sink or the hob if need be or again across over to the utility area. I've then got two above the uh, the bed area and near the entrance so basically it'll light up the entrance area if you want it to read on the seat you can just have that one pointed down without having to have the down lighters on that also means if you need to see inside the overhead locker you can just twist it round point it in and then it lights up the overhead locker area saves having to put an actual light on the inside of the locker itself so in regards to the install all of the lights in here including the very back light there <coughs> all of the down lights, all four of the spotlights, they all run off the one power line that's going from underneath the bed. I've got a marine grade fuse box in there and I've got a specific power line that's fused just for the lights and it's running, I think it's a, either a 2 or 3 amp fuse. So that individual power line goes up to the panel. There I can turn all of the lights in the van on and off straight away just by that one switch. If that switch is now left on, the power to all of the lights is now live in here. So for the down lights, I've got that on a remote control. So that's uh, turning those on and off. If you want to see how I fitted those, have a look at my channel. I've got a full install video for those. But it also means because I can turn the down lights on and off, I can leave the full light switch turned on. But obviously, there's no lights on at the moment because all of the spotlights are all individually switched as well. So at the moment, although the switch at the main panel is on, there's currently no lights on in here because they're all on their own individual switches. So that means that I've got the one power line coming out of there and then it's split going off into different directions, going down for the spotlight, going up for the down lighters, going across for the other spotlights and across and around for the kitchen one. So I say there's just the one main power line coming off the switch and that's totally split off to go across into all of the other lights which are now individually switched. So that is all four of the LED down lights, uh, the spotlights totally installed, all fully working, fully individual switched, really really install, uh, easy, easy install to do as well. They're not the cheapest of things, I mean I think these run me around about uh, £13 each, something like that, so you're talking uh, oof, what was that? over 50 quid just for the four lights. Uh, as I said, they weren't cheap, but they do 
smarten up the van and it also means that late at night if you don't want all six of the uh, the down lights on I can just turn those off turn one spotlight on or if I'm sleeping at this end of the bed I can just switch that one on and then I've got some final light just for going to bed and not having to worry about all the down lights so I hope you found the video useful uh, if you do by all means have a look at my channel I've got loads of other conversion videos on there I'm documenting the entire conversion of this high top on the channel so there's loads of other useful videos on there so feel free to do the usual YouTube stuff rate the video like uh, comment I'll always reply to any comments that I receive and feel free to share and subscribe as well there's going to be loads more videos still to come because the conversion is still ongoing and uh, yeah there we go that is how I've installed all of four of my LED spotlights all running off the same power switch that the down lights and the real light are working all fed off the one switch so there we go that's how I've done my install I hope you found the video useful cheers bye